I will be uploading a video um, after this, and I've already made it, um, talking about the the news that I, I received while in Forbidden Planet a few days ago about the apparent collapse in character options bringing out Doctor Who toys. So this could actually be the last set review or you know new figure new set review but I do because it could possibly be our last ever set. Hi guys, welcome to another review. Um, literally this has just come in the post uh, the Seeds of Doom set, as you can see in front of you. Um, I have already opened it because I couldn't really be bothered to uh, open it on camera because we've all seen, you know, these packages being opened now. But I will just show you the box very quickly. Um, the standard, whoops, just knock these out of the way. There's your box. It's quite small, about the same sort of size as the Axon and Master set. Obviously, in the new uh, packaging um, style, on the back you've got all about the Seeds of Doom. Um, so you know nothing really too new and exciting about the box. The inlay um, is basically a scene from the Antarctic uh, snow base place, which is rather nice. So you know, adds to the effect I guess, so that's that. But more importantly is the figures. You've got one crinoid, you've got the fourth doctor, um, basically as the fourth doctor. <laughs> you've got a you've got a seedling pod that's burst and uh, shoots coming out. You've got another pod here which is just like, you know, a big giant pea and you've also got the sonic screwdriver for the Doctor. So, first things first, I shall be reviewing the crinoid. Okay, so here's the crinoid. Um, the articulation is exactly the same as the articulation on this figure, which is the Axon. And, as you can probably see, they're almost identical. Um, obviously it's the same sculpt, um, there's like absolutely no change in the sculpt whatsoever. The biggest difference is that the Axon obviously isn't green um, and a few of his like um, whatever you want to call these are different than on the Axon and also his hands, um, the crinoid's hands are longer which is good because they should be um, so yeah, there's your comparison um, of the crinoid and the axon. So as I said, the articulation is the same. It's just 360 the arms, legs go kind of twisty like that. The head does probably does a 360, but you've got to be careful of uh, all the vines and stuff on him. The actual detailing of this figure is is really good. I mean, it's what we expected really. Um, you can see there's a lot of different colours, a lot of greens and kind of dark greens and blues on him. Um, his feet, in fact, do seem a little bit different than the Axon, only so that the Axon is kind of stumpy footed like an elephant and this guy's kind of got longer feet. Now this is good because I think the Axon always falls over, whereas this figure is going to be more sturdy. Um, the face sculpt, again, it's pretty much identical to the Axon's face sculpt, just a different colour, basically. Um, it's quite clever of them to have done this, I suppose. I think originally this was going to be a collect and build figure in Wave 3, or maybe Wave 2, according to some people, which is, you know, kind of cool. Um, I mean, there's not much more I can say about this apart from it is actually a really good figure and it's worth it's well it's going to look great on your shelves whatever you, however big your collection is it is one of the most infamous monsters in my eyes I Seeds of Doom is always one of my favourite Doctor Who stories um, and another figure that comes with this set is the fourth Doctor now this fourth Doctor is an absolute let down because it is exactly the same as the one released in the 11 doctors box set i can't see any difference correct me if i'm wrong 
I haven't actually got the figure with me but um, I actually can't see any difference at all so the fact that they've made us pay for another one of these quite honestly is an outrage I do like this figure because of the coat but we have already had it about a year ago or whenever the set came out so there isn't much to say about this figure at all really so a little bit disappointing um, also comes with a sword now again it's kind of a a rushed idea I think because I'm pretty sure this sword is in the episode for like a minute I'm I'm sure the doctor grabs it from like um, the little house that they're in and he ends up throwing it at the crinoid and then the episode ends and then, and then you don't see the sword again so I'm pretty sure that's where the sword came from I guess it's kind of it makes for a different accessory but it kind of makes the doctor look like he's Captain Hook or something with a massive sword um, so not quite, you know, sure why they even bothered, really, but hey-ho. Um, obviously, you know, the detailing on the sword, it's just long and silver and a gold handle and a little purpley bit there. does make the Doctor a little bit top-heavy, so when he's carrying it in his hand, it just fits in there. You're going to have to kind of hold it like that so he doesn't fall down so much you know um, also he isn't really able to hold a sonic screwdriver at the same time unless you can put the sword in his hand which you can sort of it's a little bit loose but yeah so that's the sword and the fourth doctor and as I said it comes with a sonic screwdriver which is exactly the same as all the other ones so nothing to see there really now the pods, the first pod you've got is a closed pod, originally before the pods were revived or whatever there were just two pods in the ice because they're like policemen and travel in twos, <laughs> um, so yeah that's the pod, it is really just green all over, there is you know reasonably good detail, you can tell it's part of a set I guess. Um, it's like a green Nesquik ball, really. I wouldn't suggest eating it there. <laughs> so that's that. It would be nice to have a little stand for it, because obviously going on the floor, you're not going to see it, and it's probably going to get lost. Um, and also included is the, the pod, which has burst, and is looking for uh, Keeler's arm, or whoever. Because I guess this is the first crinoid, because that's about how big he got. And then he died, and then, and then Keeler got you know, and then turned into the massive giant house thing, <laughs> but yeah, so the detailing on this um, pod is, is is good, it's the same detailing on here um, as the other pod, and then inside you've got, you've got a little kind of germinating thing, this is the crinoid, I guess, this, this little inside of the pod, um, it's quite nice. But again, would have been nice to have a stand because it's not really going to look so great on the floor, I don't think. Um, maybe the doctor can hold it in his hand. If you turn his hand up. Whoops. Ah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is pretty much all I've got to say about this set. Although having said that, I will just say this. It only costs twenty four ninety nine, which at first I thought is a relief because it's it's reasonably cheap compared to what we've been paying recently for sets. But seeing that it comes with the same fourth doctor that we've already had and basically a repaint, this set really should have just been the axon, uh, the crinoid on his own, and it should have been fifteen quid, I guess maybe twenty quid. It would have been a lot better. We we really don't need another fourth doctor figure um, his thumb is down <laughs> so um, yeah a little bit disappointing I will be uploading a video um, after this and I've already made it um, talking about the the news that I, I received while in Forbidden Planet a few days ago about the apparent collapse in character options bringing out Doctor Who toys so this could actually be the last set review, or you know, new figure, new set review, but I do, because it could possibly be our last ever set, so I'll tell you a lot more about that in my blog 
coming up after this video at some point today so so take care of yourselves guys and as always i will be back